What's up, everybody? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, back with the final two offerings from Sierra Nevada's Beer Camp Across the World collaboration series. I have the first one here. This is the uh, the international or the overseas collaboration. It's with Fuller's Brewery in Chiswick, London, England. And this is the Atlantic Style Vintage Ale. So here's what they have to say about this beer. We're calling our beer camp collaboration an Atlantic Vintage Ale, which combines elements from Fuller's robust vintage ale with some American-style hopping techniques. We use plums in the brew to complement Fuller's naturally fruity yeast strain, and we're bottle conditioning the beer for added longevity. This beer should age well in the bottle for years to come. Drink it now or stash away to revisit in the future. 8.5% ABV, 40 IBU. Yeast used is ale yeast. Hops are Magnum, Centennial, and Laurel. Malts are Turo and Caramel, and other ingredients use they list plums. Uh, so here it is. It's a, a nice orange color to it. Uh, kind of a light iced tea almost, I would say. As I hold it up to the light, uh, still a nice, uh, fairly deep orange core to it. Uh, with some kind of orange gold highlights around the edges. Uh, in terms of carbonation, since I poured it, the head's just about gone. There was a maybe a half finger at most of a uh, pretty white, pretty close to white uh, fine bubbles to it. And I can see a good amount of carbonation even to this point after having uh, poured it a few minutes ago. I can see a good amount of carbonation shooting up through the glass. All right, let's uh, check it out. Mm -hmm. So bringing it up for the uh, for the first sip, the the fruity sweetness really pushed through um, in a in a strong way. Again, if my nose can pick it up, then it's really got to be uh, giving off a powerful impression. So uh, and that really carries through to the front of the the drinking experience. You're getting plenty of that plum um, and other fruit notes that they mentioned in the description. Yes, it's very obviously sweet, but it's not cloyingly so, in my opinion. Uh, at least I don't think so. Uh, but it's certainly very present. Um, and again, the, the the plums themselves are really very evident in kind of the first first half to first third of the the drinking experience. Uh, goes into more of a a more sugary sweetness in the middle. Yeah, a little less fruit, a little bit more kind of a candy sugar for me, a little bit in the or in the middle. Um, and then a nice little spiciness towards the end. The other remarkable the other remarkable thing to me, I'm really picking up the the mouthfeel. It's kinda it's not really like uh like stout thick, but there is a like a, a bready chewiness to it. It definitely has a good amount of weight on the tongue. And it, it takes some work to get through. Uh, but it's a really, del really delicious beer. Yeah, really, really tasty. Uh, a little bit different again with kind of the, the, the British technique. So you have a little bit of maybe like a... It's not really bitter in any way, but a little bit of a, like a... An ESB style or just a, like, a, like a standard pub ale. Um, crossed with a lot of nice uh, nice fruity notes. And then again, that spiciness right there on the back end. Uh, so that is uh, the Atlantic Style Ale, the collaboration with Fuller's Brewery. Let's move on to the next beer. All right, final beer from the pack. This is a collaboration with the brewery in Placentia, California. This is the Raspberry Sunday Ale. Uh, notes from Sierra Nevada on this beer. Together we're brewing a riff on the flavors of the classic raspberry ice cream sundae. This beer features raspberry, cocoa, and vanilla in, in addition to lactose and unfermentable sugar that adds a ri richness and a sweetness, helping to blend and meld the flavors of this ultra-complex beer together. It's been our true pleasure to work with artists at the brewery using ingredients and techniques outside of our normal wheelhouse. 8% ABV, 10 IBU. Yeast uses ale yeast. Hop, uh, hops used are Magnum. Malts are two-row pale, wheat, pilsner, flaked oats, and chocolate. And as I said, other ingredients used, cocoa, vanilla, and la uh, raspberry, and lactose. Mm. 
All right, so. Uh, again, actually similar to the last beer, uh, real solid orange color to it. And again, I can see a good amount of uh, carbonation going up through the glass to a, what about a finger's worth of head with some, some larger bubbles up on top of the, the head there. Holding up to the light, again, pretty similar. Maybe just a, maybe just a, a few shades deeper. Uh, closer to orange and yellow for this uh, for this Raspberry Sunday Ale. Let's check it out. Uh, again, uh, more cocoa than fruit necessarily on the uh, on the nose. Uh, again, not really not picking up any sweetness in the in the uh, the nose at least. But we'll see how it goes in the flavor. Yeah, not, uh, surprisingly for the for the descriptor, it's really not that sweet. And again, to me, the the biggest note coming through is the the cocoa, maybe the vanilla as well. But I feel like the the raspberry, uh, which to me would be kind of the would want to be the focus for something described like this, uh, is really kind of a muted player. But yeah, very much a cocoa note. Uh, tastes like chocolate, but it's really not that sweet. I can get a little bit of the, the lactose, the creamy texture in there as well. It feels fairly similar to the, to the last beer as well. Uh, in terms of that mouthfeel that the lactose is contributing to. Uh, again, the, the fruit fruity notes that I was expecting uh, a good amount of. Really much more of a an aftertaste, and it's very prominent now in the aftertaste in that in that uh in that sip I just took anyway. But uh, it's a very subtle player in the the drinking of the beer itself. Again, not too sweet, which is good. It's not uh, not even close to being cloyingly sweet or anything like that. Uh, not quite what I was expecting, frankly. But it is uh it's pretty good. I could maybe just use just a, a hair more sweetness and um, and yeah, the raspberry is ramping up a little bit as again as an aftertaste. But kind of the more I drink it, the more it's be making its presence felt um, in kind of the back of my throat after I drank. Even even now, it's been several seconds since I've had, had a sip, and I can uh, still kind of identify it in the back of my throat. So. Uh, uh, raspberry, much more subtle. Cocoa, very prominent. Vanilla, uh, somewhat less so, but it's kind of the cocoa, vanilla, raspberry. If I were to kind of order those three, list those three uh, key ingredients in order. Uh, but a nice little beer, the uh, the Raspberry Sunday Ale. That's a collaboration again with the brewery in California. So that's it. That's the end of the uh, Sierra Nevada Beer Camp Across the World collaboration pack. And that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find all those links and usernames in the description below. Also, feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.